So my girlfriend was in here today and she was playing around with this scissor mechanism from the BotherBot. And we took one look at it and we're like, why doesn't it have a boxing glove on this end? And then maybe even like a handle and a trigger on this end. So you have yourself a extending comical boxing glove gun thing. So I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create an extending comical boxing gloves gun thing. <laughs> So the game plan here is to beef up the scissor mechanism from the bother bot, make it super strong so we can put a big boxing glove on the end of it that we might even print in red, might go crazy, I'm not sure. The whole mechanism is gonna be trigger activated, there's gonna be a handle so you can grip the whole thing, and it's all gonna be fully 3D printed so there's no additional tools, parts necessary so you guys can actually print this at home if you want. Once this whole thing is working, we're gonna go absolutely ham add as many of these scissor segments as possible and just see if we can make this thing long AF. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, I love waking up to some new parts on the printer. So it's definitely beefier. This was the scissor mechanism from the bother bot, but with the pins and C-clamps, this thing is solid. All right, let's keep going. It's crazy because sometimes you end up in these situations where you see a sketch like this and you're just like, I have no idea how this is actually gonna become like a real thing. Then you just sit at it and you work at it and then you work at it some more and then suddenly out of nowhere, you end up with something that's actually pretty legit. Something that you were actually excited about. So, We'll see what happens when this thing prints. Moment of truth. Time to find out if I did good engineering. I've printed a new handle, made some slight modifications to it. So this is the old handle here. The main difference is I made this a little bit more narrow so it fits in the hand better. On this side, you can see I took away this back groove because I'm not gonna have the reset at the thumb. It's way too hard to press. So I'm gonna add a knob to the side here. But yeah, let's move on to the end component, the fist. So the boxing glove is done and it's time to print. I was actually expecting this to be a huge challenge on SolidWorks because it's not really meant to design things like this, but it actually turned out pretty good. So let's pop it on the printer. I don't normally do this, but I feel like this boxing glove has to be done in red. So while that's printing, I'm going to make some improvements to make this a little bit easier to put together. Maybe take some of the pins out and attach them into the pieces so I'll see you guys in four hours and then let's finish this thing. boxing glove gun. The files are available for this on my website if you're interested, free for all my Patreon subscribers. It looks great on its mount. Looks even better when you mount it on the wall with the included wall mount. But before we're done, let's push this scissor mechanism to its limit and see how long we can go. Okay, let's start by doubling it. Probably it's practical limit, but let's add this to it. Oh yeah. Dang. 
Okay, the trigger is definitely not gonna work, but that's what we have this backup for. Yeah! Well, I guess this is what it feels like to have a really long extending comical boxing glove gun. A big donkey punch. Yeah! Oh my god, sea clamps are flying everywhere. Props. Props. Yeah. 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 I would say that this counts as long AF. I don't know about you. But if you guys have any thoughts, any ideas for what I can do next time, please comment below. I'd love to hear your ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.